Hey guys, before I get this video started, I want to let you know about my friend Deb. She is a fellow YouTuber and a fellow reseller. You guys might know her as Pinching Pesos. I've known her about three years now. I actually met her at the reseller rally in Chicago. She was one of the speakers there. Just a really super nice person, a lot of personality. And unfortunately, she has come down with COVID. Uh, she got it a couple weeks ago and it is just ramped up really fast. She's in the hospital in really bad shape. Some of her friends set up a GoFundMe for her for medical bills and different things that she could use some money for. And they're also doing an auction. You guys might remember my buddy Dwayne, Mothership Products, that would do auctions every Saturday night uh, with YouTubers, resellers, all that stuff. It was a lot of fun. I've done a number of auctions with Dwayne. He is very professional, he knows his stuff. And he hasn't done an auction for seven months. He had kind of retired, but he's coming out of retirement to do an auction for Deb to try to raise some money. So I am donating a big stack of classic rock records for the auction. Um, I also donated to the GoFundMe, so if you guys wanna to donate to that, I'll put a link down below. And I'm also gonna put a link down below for the auction. It's Saturday night, August 8th at 7 p.m. Eastern. And I'm gonna show you the records that I'm donating in case you guys wanna bid on it. All right, we got 25 records total. Um, Quadrophenia soundtracks, Sticks, Steppenwolf, Bob Dylan, Neil Young, The Stones, George Harrison, Fog Hat, Kansas, Pink Floyd, The Police, Cheap Trick, Steve Miller Band, Kiss, The Beatles, Beach Boys, The Who, Yes, Aria Speedwagon, Billy Joel, Pete Townsend, The Clash, Foreigner, The Pretenders, and Jethro Tull. I've looked all these over myself, and all of the vinyl is in good playable condition. So if you guys want to support the auction, it would mean a lot to me. Like I said, I'll put a link down below. I won't be there on Saturday. I'm actually going to be in Tennessee. So I'm going to keep these here, and Dwayne's going to show pictures of them. He's going to have a complete list of all the records, and I'm going to ship them out from my warehouse for free. So if you do bid on the records, shipping is covered by me. I appreciate all your guys' support, and Deb, if you're watching this, take care. Hope you get to feeling better really soon. Hey guys, it is a Monday, August 3rd. You might have noticed that I didn't record in the warehouse last week. Unfortunately, my son got sick, so I was home a lot last week. It wasn't spending a lot of time in the warehouse, but he's feeling much better now. So I'm at the warehouse getting some work done. I've got about 20 eBay orders to ship out today. Let's get to work. Went ahead and pulled some things from my storage unit that sold. Uh, first is this Nike putter. Uh, both of these golf clubs I actually got at the same garage sale. Paid $5 for the pair. And this Nike putter, uh, the Method Core, that sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Honestly, would have sold for more if the grip was in better shape. This grip is in really bad condition, so I priced it accordingly. Um, I really don't personally like to put new grips on clubs just because everybody likes their own style of grip, you know? So I didn't want to spend the money to put a new one on there because more than likely the buyer is just going to put their own on there anyways. Okay, this driver also sold. This is a Titleist 907D1. Um, when it came out, it, you know, it was top of the line, but these golf club companies are putting out like two or th three new drivers a year, so it really devalues everything. Uh, this sold for $24.99 plus shipping, and I got this big box from my neighbor here. I think he was had like a light fixture in it or something, I don't know, but it's going to work out well for this driver. I'm just going to cut it down to size. Other thing I pulled from my storage unit is this Kyle Petty uh, diecast car, and the buyer got one other car as well. Over here in C8. Well, I thought it was in C8. No, I guess it's in B8. Here it is. It is a Remington um, truck, like an old uh, first gear truck. This, uh, both of these cars sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And both of those are going out to a viewer. Randy in Arizona bought both of those. Randy, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, I'm also shipping something outside of eBay. It's this Snoopy Orlando Magic shirt. Got this a couple weekends ago at my buddy Josh's house with a bunch of other vintage shirts. A viewer named Alex saw this and wanted it, so I sold it to him for $25 free shipping. Alex, thank you for the business. I hope you like the shirt. Okay, next thing we're shipping is right up here. It is a turntable. It's actually a pretty good one too. Uh, Techniques model number SLBD22. Got this at a garage sale for $5. It had a bad belt, so I sold it as is for $44.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is over here in E2. I think I sold a handful of things out of here, so I'm just gonna pull it all. First, 
are some Nintendo Wii controllers. It's a lot of three. Got about $5 into these. They sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Uh, let's see here. Next is some ashtrays. These are here, I believe. These are commemorative railroad ashtrays. Got them up in Cleveland in that recent big buy I made. I've only got a couple dollars into these. Decided to just sell them as a pair. They sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Keith from Minnesota bought these. Thanks for the support, Keith. Okay, at least one more thing sold out of here. Uh, this Roku sold. Only got a few dollars into this. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I believe this JVC camcorder sold. Let's double check here. Okay, yeah, this sold too. This is a JVC Avario camcorder. Just got this two weekends ago at a garage sale for $2. It had the bag, all the accessories. It sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is a lamp, like a desk lamp right here. I'm selling this for my mother-in-law. This is new old stock, never really got used. Has all the original packing and everything. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next we're coming over to E4. And I know I sold at least two or three things out of here. So we're just gonna pull the whole bin. I listed a bunch of those hats that I just picked up for a dollar each, and a few of them already sold. This one sold really quick. I probably underpriced it a little bit, but that's all right. This is a vintage Seattle Supersonics, and what made it special is that it was by Sports Specialties, and the letters kind of had this shadowing. I didn't know that that's what made it special, but after looking at some of the comps, I realized that this was kind of a special one. This sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Another Sports Specialties that sold is this... Um, Philadelphia Flyers. This one also had the tags. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. And then one buyer bought two. Uh, first is this Hoop It Up hat. Um, also sports specialties. And there's an Angels hat right here. Anaheim Angels. Buyer bought both of these for $47.98 plus shipping. Those two hats are going out to Dylan. He says, long time viewer, first time buyer. I picked up my first baseball bat because of you for $5 and flipped it for $300 the next day. Thanks for everything. I know I'm getting the Angels hat, but it's too cool to pass up. I'm a diehard White Sox fan and absolutely hate the Cubs. I would love a sticker. Dylan, thank you so much for the support. That is awesome to hear about the baseball bat, man. Keep picking and flipping like that. And I'll be happy to throw in a few stickers for you. Okay, one more hat we're pulling out of here. Uh, Denver Broncos hat. This one was not new, but still very clean. Also have a dollar under this one. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing is all the way back here in F1. This is a Rain Digital Delay. I've had this for quite some time. I've got about $10 into it. It sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Next thing is down here in C6. Actually goes with that uh, Broncos hat. I just pulled out. This is a collection of uh, Fortnite characters. This is part of a recent bulk buy I made. Uh, I've got a dollar or two into it. This sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Kenneth in California bought this and a Broncos hat. Kenneth, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Next is over here in D3. This is a handheld metal detector. Sold for my mother-in-law. Sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next is in C3. This is a PS2 Slim. Couldn't test it, didn't have the power cord. Decided to sell it as is. This was also part of a recent book buy. I probably got three or four dollars into it. Sold for $26.99, free shipping. All right, next is some more Wii controllers in E1. These are three Wii Motes with some nunchucks. These came with a, a Wii system I bought over the weekend for $10, but the Wii system did not work, so I parted it out. These sold for $34.99 plus shipping. All right, next is right here in C8. It is this truck with plow. It's got the snow chains on the tires and everything. This thing's really cool. I got this up in Cleveland along with all those other die casts that I bought. This sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in A5. It is a Panasonic cordless phone system. Where is it at? Right here. It's got the base and everything. Only got a couple dollars into this. Picked it up at a garage sale. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Sold a bumper sticker. I got maybe a hundred of these last year. So I've got like a penny into each one because I maybe got, I spent like $5 on the whole lot. They were really cheap and I've been selling them really well too. This one sold for $9.99 free shipping. I also sold a bottle right back in here. Got this up in Cleveland with all that stuff. This is an antique distillata bottle. It has the label, which is pretty rare to see. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. It's Tuesday morning. It's a nice cool day out. So I've got the garage door pulled up and I need to ship some eBay orders. Got about 15 to ship out. A couple of them I've already pulled from my storage unit. Uh, first thing is this King Cobra driver. I got this at the garage sale a couple months ago. It's been a while. 
paid like three dollars for it and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next are some PC games. These were in my storage unit. I got these, I think like last year. Uh, as a big lot of PC games, so I've only got maybe a quarter into them. They sold for $11.99 plus shipping. These are going out to viewer named Wes. Wes, thank you for the support. It means a lot. Okay, next is this big cargo net right here, or like cargo cover. Uh, it's for a Cadillac. I got this at a garage sale like three weeks ago. I paid five bucks. The owners had, um, like turned in their old car i guess they traded it in on a new one and they didn't give this to the place when they traded it in so they were just selling it at the garage sale this sold for 59.99 plus shipping and luckily my neighbor here has a uh, little setup for blinds and lighting and all kinds of stuff so he's got big boxes like this so he had a big box i could put that in i'm super grateful for that all right i sold some hats uh, i think most of them are right here in a3 so Let's go ahead and bring this whole bin over. Uh, first hat is Arizona Cardinals. At least I thought it was in here. There it is. This is in that big lot of hats I just got from the garage sale. I've got a dollar into it. I didn't realize it, but this design is called Shark Tooth. So like you see all this right here, they call that Shark Tooth. And apparently it is pretty desirable. This sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Okay, I don't think I sold any more hats out of here, but I sold a couple of these robot models. Let's see, I sold a, uh, a tabletop robot and a tin can robot. And the same buyer bought something else too, uh, this Eternos board game. Uh, this board game I picked up at a garage sale for five bucks. It's new in the plastic. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And these two robots sold for $15.98 plus shipping. I'll just combine all three in the same box and refund the buyer the difference in shipping. All three of those are going out to viewer named Karen, who's bought so much for me in the past. Karen, thank you for the support. Really hope you like all that stuff. All right, next order has two hats. They're both down here in D6. First is this vintage ESPN hat. And next is this Camargo Cadillac. That's a local Cadillac dealership. Paid a dollar each for those two hats, and they sold for $26.98 plus shipping. Both of those are going out to your name, Caleb. Caleb, thank you for the business. It means a lot. Okay, next order has two items. First is this tractor right here. Even comes with a little farmer guy. And the other thing is a snow globe right here in E1. This is a Mickey Minnie Mouse snow globe. Just picked this up at a grass sale last weekend for $3. Buyer bought both of these items for $39.98 plus shipping. Okay, a couple more hats sold. One's right here in A4. This is a San Diego Padres hat, new with the tags. And the other one is over here in A3. Toronto Raptors, also new with the tags. I've got a dollar each into these. The pair sold for $34.98 plus shipping. And these are also going out to a viewer. Chris in Virginia bought those hats. Thanks for the support, Chris. Sold a Funko Pop up here in D7. Let's see. It is Aquaman Mera, number 250. This one right here, this sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Sold another Funko Pop up here in C9. It is the Penguin, this guy right here. This one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This is going out to viewer named Tyler. He says he watches the videos with his dad. Tyler, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your support. Hope you like the Funko Pop. Okay, up here in D8, I sold a Dorbs thing. Let's see, I think it's this guy. Yeah, Thor. Uh, this sold for $5.99 plus shipping. This is going out to viewer named Ricky. Ricky, thank you for the business. Really appreciate it. I sold that lamp uh, right here, this NBA lamp that I got at a garage sale over the weekend. I paid $2 for this and tested it out. It works great. Had the tiniest little crack right here, unfortunately. Um, so I made sure I disclosed that in the listing. It probably would have sold for a little bit more if it was in mint condition, but as it is, it sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Let's go ahead to a viewer named Randy who has bought some stuff for me in the past. Randy, thank you for the continued support. Really hope you like that lamp. All right, last thing we're shipping out is right up here. Okay, this is a laser alignment system for a heat press uh, for t-shirts. I was with my dad last weekend at a garage sale and I walked by this and he, he noticed it. Uh, we got it for $10 and I tested it out. It worked perfectly. These things sell new for like 300 bucks. I sold mine for $199.99 plus shipping. So big time thanks to my dad on this one because he's the one that found it. All right, guys, I think this would be a good point in the video to answer some viewer questions and open some mail.
Versus from Sam Horcher, he says, how do you list your items on eBay? I find that it is much faster on a computer versus a phone, but it takes so long to have to email the photos from my phone to the computer. Do you have a quicker way of transferring the photos? Thanks. Um, so if you have an iPhone and a Mac computer, you can just do what they call AirDrop, where you just pick them all and like hit one button and it just sends them right there. There's no emailing or anything. It's just right there in your downloads, it's good to go. So I do that whenever I'm sending photos, but personally, I prefer my phone to list because I like to just have it all done at once. I like to do the pictures, the description, you know, the title, the pricing, the shipping, all of it done at once and just be done with it as opposed to, you know, taking a whole bunch of pictures in bulk and then doing a bunch of listing in bulk. It's just the way I like to do it. It's, it works fast for me, but a lot of people I know, you know, prefer the computer. I mean, it really just depends on what you like, I think. Okay, next is from Dan Nicolino. I have a question. Let's say you have an item in your hand. Seller is asking $100. You offer $50 and the seller says $70. As soon as they make a counter, another buyer shouts, I'll do $70. What happens? Do you have the option to take it at $70 or does that person get it? Is there some unwritten rule? I've never had this happen where somebody else tries to jump in on a deal. Uh, Lonnie and I have messed with each other at a garage sale and done that, but just goofing around. I never had somebody try to, you know buy something out from under me as I'm making a negotiation, but I don't know, crazier things have happened. Um, I was at a garage sale maybe a month or two ago and I was looking at a sewing machine and I think they wanted right around like 120 or 100 or something like that. And I think I offered like 50 and they counted with 70. So it's funny that you use those numbers. And I was thinking about it for maybe three or four seconds and somebody else at the sale says, I'll take it for 70 if you don't want it for 70. And I'm like, yeah, I'll do it for 70. And he wasn't trying to butt in. I know the guy, he and I are, you know, good acquaintances. So he wasn't trying to like steal it from me. I think he was just trying to be funny. But yeah, I've personally never had anybody try to steal a negotiation from me at a garage sale. If you guys have had that happen, I'd love to hear about it. Leave me a comment below. Okay, next is from Too Much Josh. Which brands of golf clubs are a must buy when I garage sales? Also, which ones are a no go? So the big brands to look out for would be Titleist, TaylorMade, Cobra. Ping is a really good one. Nike, even though they're not really making clubs anymore. Mizuno makes good clubs. There's about eight or nine brands you really want to look for. Um, with golf clubs, just go into it knowing that 99.9% .9 of the ones you see at garage sales are just junk. They're absolute junk. It seems like it's a needle in a haystack finding a good golf club. So just go into it knowing that, that most of the ones you see aren't going to be worth anything. I made a video specifically about buying and selling golf clubs. I went in depth with brands and what to look for and all that stuff. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, another thing I haven't done for a little bit is draw a postcard. I actually didn't do this for July or August. So we're gonna go ahead and pick two winners. And the way this works is you just mail me in a postcard. My address is down below in the description. And once a month I draw one and the winner gets to pick whatever they want from my merchandise store. So a mug, hoodie, shirt, whatever they want. All right, first winner is Mike Mancy from Montana. Mike, shoot me an email. My email is down below in the description. All right, one more. This is from Barbara Nickham. Hello from Oklahoma. So Barbara and Mike, both you guys, shoot me an email. Let me know what you want from my store and I'll get it sent out to you. All right, it is time to open some viewer mail. Okay, first is from Joshua Brown. We got a note. John, I've just been selling on eBay for four months. I've learned so much from you and Lonnie. Here is a small token of my thanks. Josh, uh, eBay store is off the map pickers. It's kind of heavy. Oh, wow. Oh, how cool is this? That's an Ohio snow globe. That is awesome, Josh. Plays a song too. That's really cool. All right, and in the bag, we've got, looks like a Reds jersey, Brandon Phillips. And I think that'll fit my daughter perfectly. Thank you, Josh. That was really nice of you. Okay, next is from Jerry Ringling. John, enclose our two Calvin Reese cards. Sell one, keep one for your own collection. Maybe you pair one with your autographed ball. Glad baseball's coming back. Best wishes to you and your family. Stay safe, Jerry. Calvin Pokey Reese. He was a really good player. A lot of fun to watch. Thank you, Jerry. That was very kind of you. Okay, next is from MN Coin Seller. Hey, John, hope this gets in your hands when you're opening up fan mail on your YouTube channel. I've never been on YouTube before, and I hope this is my chance. This is your chance. I'm a 15-year-old coin seller on eBay called MN Coin Seller. 
Your videos, even though they aren't on coins, inspired me to wake up at 5 a.m. and bike a few miles to my local flea market to find treasures to resell. After a long day, I know I can feel better after watching you, Lonnie, and Craigslist Hunter. Just wanted to let you know that you're an inspiration to us young resellers out there. As I'm writing this, I have a 99 positive feedback with 87 listings on eBay. I'm sure by the time you get this, I will be at 100, but I would love a shout out. Stay safe and take care of your wife and kids. Stay safe, Gavin, aka MN Coin Seller. Gavin, thank you so much for the letter. I'm glad my videos help, even though I don't deal a lot with coins. And it sounds like you are doing an amazing job selling coins. So keep up at it. I think your hard work is going to keep paying off. And send me an email, Gavin. My email is down below in the description of this video. I'd love to send you something from my merchandise store. You pick out whatever you want. And if you guys want to see Gavin's eBay store, I will put a link down below in the description of this video. Okay, next is from Chris Kepler. Oh, wow, that's cool. Rick Auerbach card. PSA graded too. 1978 tops. Thank you, Chris. This is from Wise House or Wee's House. I might just be mispronouncing that. W I E S E House from Georgia. Hey there, Cincinnati Picker. I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. I've been watching and learning a lot for a few months now. I'm originally from Cincinnati, Fairfield. That's not too far from me. But now I live in Atlanta. Skyline in a can just isn't the same. Isn't that the truth? Just got started as a reseller myself and I've been hitting garage and yard sales often. I found a bunch of these headliners figures and was listing them for sale on eBay under Rare Todd 22 and I thought you might appreciate this one. Just a thank you for providing such great content on your channel. Keep up the great work. Enjoy. Thanks much, Todd. All right, what do we have here? I remember these little headliner figures. Oh, King Griffey Jr., that is so cool. Look at that. It's like a tiny little bobblehead. Thank you, Todd. All right, last but certainly not least is from TNT Pickers. We got a hat. Look at that. That's sharp. Oh, another hat. Holy cow. Black and white, Mr. Red Legs. That's slick. John, big fans of your YouTube channel and how you conduct business. We've learned a lot from you and enjoy keeping up with you and your adventures online. Came across a couple of Cincinnati Reds hats, maybe for your collection or flipping. Best regards, TNT Pickers. Guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's Wednesday morning and I have 17 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. Okay, first thing I'm shipping out is actually not an eBay order. These are a couple of board games I just recently bought in a big bulk lot of stuff. A viewer reached out that wanted both of them, uh, the Alien game and the Escape from New York game. And I sold him the pair for $90 for shipping. Those board games are going out to Cameron. So Cameron, thank you so much for the support. Really hope you like those board games. All right, first eBay thing I'm shipping is an A6. I think there might be a couple of orders in here actually. So I'm just pulling the whole tote. Um, I know I sold some patches. Let's see here. I bought a whole bunch of patches recently. I sold that lot and also this lot. So two different lots of Guns and Roses patches. There's eight in each lot and each one sold for $14.99 free shipping. Sold this Anaheim Angels hat, new with the tags. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I've got a dollar into that. And I believe that is it for this bin. No, wait. No, I sold this hat too. This is a minor league team, the Louisville Bats. So they're not too far for me, maybe an hour and a half. This one's also new with the tags. It's sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Let's go on to your name, Brian. Brian, thank you for the business. Hope you like the hat. Okay, next is a B4. This is one of those leather travel kits I just recently got in the book buy. Probably got a few dollars into this. It's sold for $14.99 plus shipping. A viewer bought that and they said, just wanted to say thank you for the good deal and amazing content. It has helped me and my little niece in these crazy times become better resellers. We recently started our own YouTube channel. Huge shout out to you from the Hollywood Reseller. Guys, thank you so much for the support. I'll definitely check out your YouTube channel. And if you guys want to see it too, I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, next is another hat. Um, I think there's more than one thing in here. So let's just pull the whole bin. I know I sold this uh, Oakland A's hat, new with the tags. Also have a dollar into this one. I just love that elephant uh, mascot logo. That thing is so cool. That's one of my favorite MLB logos. Uh, this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And I know I sold this Lego set. I got this last weekend at a garage sale for $4 and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. All right, what else did I sell? I know I sold Snow White. I picked this up um, at a garage sale last weekend, paid $5. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. 
and I believe that is it for the spin, so I'll put it back. Okay, next thing we're pulling is right up here. This is the, uh, what is the name of this? Memorex. I almost said Emerson for some reason. Memorex DVD player recorder. This is the one that my dad saw at the garage sale that I walked right by, so nice job, Dad. I paid 10 bucks for this. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Okay, next we're coming over here to E2. This is a Polaroid uh, vintage camera. These rainbow stripe ones seem to be kind of desirable. Not super valuable. I uh, just had to sell it untested as is for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, sold another hat. I think both of these sold, so I just went ahead and pulled them both. Uh, let's see here. First is this Angel's hat. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And next is this uh, Miami Hurricanes hat. Uh, this sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I've got a dollar each into those. This one is going out to a viewer and fellow eBay seller named Daniel. Daniel, thank you so much for the support. His eBay store is FLGuy27. I'll put a link down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. Okay, next thing is an auction. Let's move the cart out of the way here. Down here, C5. Let's see. Here they are. These are a big lot of Pokemon cards. I got this at a garage sale, I want to say two or three weeks ago. I paid $5 for all of them. There's 140 total. I know that some of these can be worth some money, but I really was not crazy about the idea of looking up each and every one. So I just did an auction. Started at 99 cents, ran it for a week, and it sold last night for $57 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is up here in H7. Uh, where is it at? I think it is this one. John Deere diecast tractor. Got this up in Cleveland with all those cars and trucks and everything. That sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Okay, a couple more things to pull. Sold something up here in C9. This is a Wild Bill Wacky Wobbler. This was with all the Funko Pops and Dorbs and stuff I just bought. This sold for $11.49 plus shipping. Let's go out to view named Charles. Charles, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, last thing we're pulling over here in D1. This is a Battlestar Galactica uh, DVD series, season one, new in the plastic. Got this at a garage sale maybe a month ago. Paid a couple bucks. It sold for $10.89 free shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.